probably the worst Call of Duty Zombies map ever. When I say probably, I mean it, it, it is. It's it's it's, def it's the worst. But guys, no, no, please, please, no, 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 please, why? Get back here, please, please, please. But guys, transit was a very good idea. It wasn't executed properly, but the idea behind Transit was unique and it could have been good. Now in this video guys, I'm going to be talking about Transit 2.0 for a custom zombies map with Black Ops 3 mod tools on how they could make Transit the one, uh, just an amazing map by far. These are some awesome innovations I thought of and an awesome idea of how Transit could be amazing. Now before you're sitting there freaking out slapping the dislike button with your peen- no. I know that people have made remakes of Transit before. Now, this is my personal ideas on how they could use the Black Ops 3 mod tools to make Transit awesome. So, chill. Now guys, the first thing I do want to jump into is everybody hated the fog on transit. The first thing that we're doing is we're taking the fog out. Bye bye denizens, you're done. Because we are taking the fog out with these new setup. We are taking the fog out and we are making the fog explorable. All the areas in the fog were basically overrun by fog for the fact that they could not fit enough into the PS3 system or the Xbox 360 to actually make that a playable area. So what we're doing with this Transit 2.0 is we're making the fog area playable. We're making there a lot more area to explore and things to do in the area that used to be the fog. Now, I know if you guys have played Transit, you know that there was the little cabin in the fog, there was Nocturne Toten, there's a bunch of stuff like that. So with this new version of Transit, we are gonna be adding in just a bunch of new features like that. A couple cabins in there. Nocturne Toten is going to be completely playable. There's going to be viable weapons in Nocturne Toten, and it's going to be awesome. The second thing I do want to jump into is viable wall weapons. When you come to one of the new areas, there's going to be wall weapons everywhere. There's going to be things you can buy, things you can build. Everything is going to be in the area because when you play Transit, you jumped in there and there's no guns. You come to the town and there's one gun. It's the town. Why? But either way, guys, the point is, there's going to be guns in every single location you go to. There's going to be weapons, buildables, traps, a bunch of different stuff like that. And that's just going to make it more fun by far because there's going to be a lot more things that you can do when you go to those areas. Now, guys, transportation is a big thing in this map because transit is huge. So the first thing we need to do is we need to add some attachments to the bus. The bus is going to have awesome buildable attachments. Now, in the original transit map, there was a couple buildables you could add to the bus to make it better, but we're going higher with that. We're adding a flamethrower to the side like they did on the tank in Origins. And if you've ever seen Speed Racer, you know they have those like things in the front of the bus and it just like chops things. It's like a giant claw at the front of the bus or like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles on their ass? Yeah, we're adding that to the front of the transit bus. You can build a freaking saw to put at the front. Yeah, it's gonna be sick. But either way, guys, yeah, there's gonna be awesome attachments that you could add to the bus. That would just make the bus a lot more fun to use because the zombies couldn't wreck you while you're in there, and it would be a faster transportation. Now, we're going to add another thing to the bus, which is you can pick your destination. Instead of the bus just circling around the transit map like it used to, you're going to be able to activate where you want the bus to take you, as well as call the bus when you're in an area. That's going to be one of the things that's going to be very awesome about this new Transit 2.0. Now, we all thought that the Wonder Weapon on Transit was going to be amazing. We thought it was going to be some Thunder Gun 2.0 that sucks the zombies in and blows them out, but it was not. But guys, we are going to make that now. We are going to make this new Wonder Weapon suck the zombies in and blow them out and them explode. I don't know guys, just like a Thunder Gun 2.0. The exact opposite of the Thunder Gun is what we're going to make this jet gun in this new Transit 2.0 map. Now guys, the last thing that everyone hated about Transit was the Pack-a-Punch. The Pack-a-Punch, it took forever to open and when you did open it, it would close on you if you left. So we're just going to make a giant new Pack-a-Punch ritual. You're not going to have to do all that and once you've opened Pack-a-Punch, it's not going to close on you. So for all you who hated that, you're welcome. 
All right, guys, the last thing that I want to add into this Transit 2.0 map is a perk that prevents you getting damaged by the lava. There would be a couple other innovations on this perk. I don't know all the details yet, but the main thing is that everyone hated the lava. So I'm going to be adding in this new perk that basically makes you immune to the lava damage, kind of like Banana Collada or PhD Flopper perk but it's for the lava now anyway guys that is my idea for a transit 2.0 it was kind of brief but the base ideas of what i had are very interesting and i think that if someone were to execute this in a black ops 3 zombies mod tool map and just made this map amazing like that worked really hard on it and added all these innovations transit could be one of the most fun maps we've had now a lot of people may like it a lot of people may not but just the idea of changing that up would make transit such an amazing map to play because because so far, transit, well not so far, transit sucks, but if we did do this, transit could be a lot of fun, guys. So guys, if you think this would be awesome, smash a like on the videos, tweet all the modders you know to go make this, because this would be sick, and I want to see it in the Black Ops 3 mod tools at some point in time. If you guys are a modder, you better go make this, and I definitely will be playing it on the channel. But either way, guys, if you enjoyed, smash the like so we can get this made, and hopefully someone will see it. But either way, guys, if you enjoyed, I love you, thank you. Yeah. Let me see let me you oh, just let me oh. That clock keeps ticking like a metronome, and my thoughts keep telling me to get me home, but my balls keep telling me to let me oh. Oh, just let me oh. That clock keeps ticking like a metronome, and my thoughts keep telling me to get me home, but my balls keep telling me to let me oh. Fuck all that shit, just let me.